Okay, today we're going to learn how to draw a ribbon. Um, so I want you to start with a line similar to this. Senio kind of line like that, okay? Alright. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to each little corner, each little hump that you see, each little bend we're going to draw a line perpendicular to that and, and you want to keep these about the same length okay alright alright and on the ends I'm going to do it really light I'll show you why in a minute okay next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a line parallel to this so you see this line here you want to draw a line that's parallel to that, okay? It curves, and you have a little line here, parallel to that, okay? So the lines, parallel means that the lines stay the same distance apart, they don't, they don't get closer together, okay? Thus they become parallel. Okay, here we go. Now, you know, if it's not exactly parallel, well, that's all right. You know, we, we do what we can. Okay, I'm just checking to see. Okay, now over here, what I'm going to do is between here and here, and I'm going to come back and make a little dot. And then from that little dot, I'm going to do this. That's why I did the little dot. That's why I did those lines on the end uh, not so dark. Okay, that's step one of the ribbon. Okay? Step two, let me, let's look at it. Step two is to look at it and this just decide if it looks good. Okay, so we're looking at it. It's alright. Okay. Step three is we're going to shade. Now everywhere you see a little bend in the, in the ribbon, make a little dot. Okay, so I have a little dot here, a little dot there, a little dot here here, here. Now my hope is to demonstrate this to you in class as well, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, do it here. Okay, now, what you're going to do is, <clears throat> and I like using circular motion to shade, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shade from dark to light, like fill up this little bend going from dark to light. Notice I don't go all the way to the top. Uh, in doing that, I'm creating a little edge. Okay. All right. Starting with a lot of pressure and then pulling back on the pressure like this. So we're again going from dark to light, doing like we did when we did the valley scale. Okay. Now, I would not use paper for this. The problem with using paper is a lot of kids will just go <laughs> and rub it and it all becomes the same value. Okay, now here's, here's another one. Again, we don't go all the way to the top. We have this little lip we're creating. Maybe I should exaggerate it a little bit more on this one so you can see it a little better, okay? Not a lip, an edge. I should say an edge. Okay, start with the darkest of values, and then again using a little circular motion, little circular strokes, I guess, with a pencil. You go lighter and lighter as you apply less and less pressure to the pencil. Okay. All right. You see that? Okay. And then I have another one over here, again, starting with a lot of pressure, little circular strokes, progressively lighter, lighter, and lighter. All right. There we go. i got to keep this video under 15 minutes or I can't upload it. So, I might do the rest, I might not. 
But let me get back to this one little spot here. Now, the, this, the, these are the inside bends, I guess you would call them, the inside um, bends of the ribbon. But we also have these outside bends. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to start with a, a, with a valley that isn't so dark. So let's just go ahead, and we don't go all the way to the edge. Notice I don't go all the way to the edge here either. So I can turn it this way. It might make more sense if I turn it this way. Okay, I'm not going to go all the way to the edge either. Okay. Now, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom on this side, but on this side, I'm not. I'm going to leave this little gap up here. Again, creating a thickness. Now, you notice I did the strokes going one direction and I'm going the other direction. Now, so you know, you can go this way or you can go the other way. It doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Let me just kind of smooth that out a little bit. Now, how does that look? Okay. There we go. Now there is a little line. I don't know if you can see it right here. Let me see if I can go up to this. See if it will stay in focus. I don't know. But there's a little line right there that you could erase. But we're not going to deal with that. If you want to know more about that, just ask me in class. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to finish this up really quick, okay? So I won't do a lot of talking. We kind of have the groove going. Start off dark gradually get lighter lighter using these little circular strokes okay now on this one you're gonna have this thing's gonna hit hit the other one so they're gonna kinda just merge you're not gonna have any white space in the ribbon okay now, another thing you can do, and I'll do it with this one, is you can erase and create like little, you know, you'll see this a lot, you know, like little, little rips in the ribbon. That's kind of cool too. Okay, like this. Maybe this is kind of like this and like that. Okay. You can do that as well. Okay, seven minutes. Let's bring this to a close here. Okay, so again, start light, I mean dark, and then using the circular strokes, get progressively lighter and lighter and lighter. Okay. not going all the way up to the top either there are many ways to construct a ribbon and you know I uh, recommend you go on YouTube there's a lot of videos on how to draw ribbons or the uh, the style you know different 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 ribbon styles go for it man you know dig it so that's what YouTube is for I'm doing this because this this is something that I'm gonna be doing in class and the whole the whole I guess philosophy of flip teaching is I teach you or not teach you, but I provide you with opportunities to to learn to draw. Because actually, you don't teach art. Art is a discipline that requires practice. It's nothing that can be achieved through book studying, like other subjects. Okay? Therefore, when I give you an assignment, Sometimes you will consider it a, 
how do I want to say this? A disadvantage? No, that's not what I want to say. A uh, a failure, I guess, would be on my part to not show you or or teach you how to draw because you can't teach someone how to draw you give them an opportunity to draw and they learn by doing okay so it's not that I'm copying out okay it's that uh, that's the nature of, of drawing is that you gotta do it well in flip teaching what we do is we're supposed to do is we're supposed to give you an opportunity to learn online some of these things that we've done to reinforce your experience in the classroom you know so for example I'm doing this ribbon here you can go back and look at it again and again and again as many times as you want okay I'm gonna put I'm gonna stop and finish it many times as you want to reinforce that uh, that learning experience okay I'm gonna stop it and then I'm gonna bring it back okay over the years I've seen students do really beautiful wonderful drawings using ribbons um, and the creativity was really really good fascinating um, you know ribbons with roses ribbons with thorns ribbons that would that would transition into other things okay you want to have a nice smooth surface too I, I keep hitting little bumps in the table but you know what yeah, that's all right okay let me bring this to a close let me do this really really fast here okay now the last thing you're gonna do is probably gonna punch in some of these lines like I'm gonna come back here I'm gonna extend this 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 little thing here this little thing I'll extend that I'll probably darken this in you know like over here I'll extend this probably all the way why not darken this in okay bring this out maybe make this line a little darker along there and along there and along there emphasizing the the thickness of the of the ribbon okay I don't know if you can see this on the camera or if I'm off but that's kind of the effect you want okay all right so that is uh, one way to do a ribbon okay there are other ways that I might uh, record online or I just might show you in class or I might just give you a handout but you have the basic gist the gist of it um, and your, pro your assignment is going to be just to be real creative with ribbons and add all kinds of objects and things to it so like if I were to do this I could probably put something maybe like an arrow going through inside there another arrow going that way and maybe some you know hey if you want to do a theme of arrow and hearts you know you know you can do something like that but anyway that's a basic ribbon